Sunday, 3rd of March, 2024. A little after 11, 58 degrees, and we're going to go over. So I'll review our foam insulation install from yesterday. We're going to rearrange everything, get everything squared away. We're going to put our bike back in, but we are going to take a bike ride before we do and get a video of that. The spray insulation, I think is going to do just what I want it to do. I'm going to have to clean it up a little bit, but that's just not that bad. I'm thinking about putting acoustic tile over it, which is, and this is, this it will sizzle if you put it on fire, but it doesn't flame up. So if I use some uh, sealant tile, acoustic sealant tile, that's uh, fire retardant. And that'll cover all this very well, but I haven't decided yet. I'm going to do some research and figure out what a, how I want to finish this up. But everything we're doing to the van is making it more self-sufficient, more comfortable. We're just limited on space. But um, there's the EcoFlow portable heater and air conditioner. It is a 4,000 BTU heater and a 5,000 BTU air conditioner. Of course, our little Ryobi fan, our solar... 160 watt solar cells for our EcoFlow solar battery. We've got a two RV batteries over there. We can charge them either with a cigarette lighter or with the battery charger if we plug into 110. But we're getting it set up also where it, it will charge, they will charge going down the road. We've got this Renogy charger we connect it to the battery connect it to the rv batteries and as we're going down the road it regulates it checks make sure it doesn't overcharge um, and it'll keep the rv batteries charged as we go down the road so that will be a big help and of course we've got uh, you know, here's our air conditioning drain line for our portable ac unit of course we've got some tools we need a bigger tool chest with more tools and the Cummins gasoline generator so we have power I want to get some more RV bat I mean uh, solar cells for the roof but that'll be time to come I say everything we're doing even if this van does you know falls apart and it doesn't make it everything we're doing except for this spray in insulation would be transferable to another vehicle so I'm not worried at all about what money we're spending. The only thing that would be lost so far would be the insulation in the van. That spray insulation. But yeah, before we put the bike back up, we're going to do a bike ride on the Rad Power Bike. We haven't been on this thing in a couple of months, so it'll be interesting to see. And we've already, we've driven it, I don't know how many miles, but we've driven it. It'll be interesting to see how much charge the battery still has to it. So, um, without further process or whatever they call it, let's go ahead and turn it. This will wrap this one up. We'll do our bike ride, get these uploaded, and we may wait on this one to upload it until we reorganize and get the van squared away so I can show you what it'll look like after it's squared back away. Well, we have just about reorganized the whole thing and got everything back in here <clears throat> just about everything I need I said you can generally get pretty much anything you need even in this small of a space the biggest problem is being able to put your hands on it when or if you need it and the way I've got this organized I can usually access any of this stuff that I need from either here or one of those back doors of course and then of course the food and medicine uh, personal supplies or whatever or over here so so far I'm very happy with insulation I'm gonna to have to add some more you can tell there's some that's not as thick as it needs to be but um, we'll take care of that and all of that in those cracks you know, take the door panel off that door there, take both of these door panels off, get insulation in them. 
and it ought to make a big difference see all these channels and I can tell a big difference in the sound of that door and it feels more solid with that insulation back there the biggest trouble I have is not really back here with all of this stuff but when I'm on the road the biggest trouble I have is trying to keep all this up here organized all the camera paraphernalia because depending on what I'm using what I'm trying to video or take pictures of you know I'll be using one GoPro one to three different phones one or two different Osmo cameras little B600 Nikon point and shoot I'm uh, trying to keep up with all that stuff, keep it organized, keep, and keep everything charged up where I can use it when I need it is the biggest problem I have on the road. So I'm thinking this insulation is going to help a whole lot with heat and cool when I get it finished. I say it needs a good bit yet. But when I get it finished, it ought to be okay. And I'm going to have a bike rack one way or another on the outside back here at that trailer hitch back there or either on the front trailer hitch and that will give me a lot more space right here and I will set up the table set up like I had last year before I pulled these bins out to where I can actually put my computer up here leave it up there and actually work from back here have a little camp stool or either just use one of those five gallon buckets turned upside down to work so I think it pretty much takes care of it. I want to get some video today of these mockingbirds and songbirds singing. They are really singing. The crowbirds have been making all kind of racket. So spring is on the way. We still got a couple more weeks of winter, but spring's on the way. Okay, so we're going to cut this off. This will be a wrap. We'll get it uploaded.